In this video, we are going to learn how to solve this jam mass questions based on past under approximation. Whereas right, so after going through this video, you will be able to basically deal with any jam mass question you encounter involving approximation. So let's get started. So we have this question one. Well, what is the product of 1.1 and 1.9? One day to the nearest 10. So let's get a calculator and simplify the product. So with the jam calculator, we are going to see we have 1.1 times 1.9 so what the output we have it to be 2.09 now pay attention this is where we're going to miss it if you don't understand this place now in a value like this after the decimal point the number following the point is the tenth value all right the like if this value have you have 2.09 all right this zero is the tenth value this 9 is the 100th value. I think mean there is another number following 9. That number would have been the 1000th value. Whereas this, the value is before the point. Let me illustrate to show you guys to understand this better. Okay, so this question, the output will have 2.09. Alright, so this 0 is the 10th value. This is the 100th value. Now, this value before the point we just have one value before the point this is called the tenth so this is called the ones all right and then we have another value let's see anyway this value would have been known as the tens okay and then we have another value say four yeah this would have been the hundreds okay so from here after the point this is the tenth this is the hundred yet and we have another value say like five this would have been the thousand yet in that order so the product of 1.1 and 1.9 is this the product of 1.1 and 1.9 is 2.09 so to round it up the nearest tenth from what i'm explaining here is the tenth value this is a value so this nine is up to five more than five so we're going to approximate that so i put it to this zero okay so the after this question now we have it 2.1 when you approximate this nine as one put to this zero now be 2.1 so the correct option is your option d it's as simple as this okay very very simple guys so that's it for this kind of questions involving approximation so let's wipe everything here and go to the next question all right so let's go to the next question let me remove this calculator okay so question two i have here i asked to evaluate this correct one this math list so look at the calculator firstly you need to do it one after the other so that you will not get necessary value or the wrong value so let's simplify the new rate of first we have one point Two five, okay, times zero point zero two five. So, what the output? We have the output to be. So you can always write it down to be on a safe side. So you don't forget is the map zero point zero three one two five. All right. So let's remove this. So we now have simplify zero point this value is called zero point zero three one two five. Okay, divide zero point zero five zero point zero five for the output. So we have it to be zero point six two five. Now we ask to correct one this map list. I know that this map list starts immediately after this map point. So after the decimal point, we have 625. Since we are asked to run the or correct one decimal point, it will be the correct answer this question is option D, the point C, because this two after 6 is not to 5, so it cannot be one up as 1. Alright, so the correct option is option D, to one decimal point. And then we are asked to run it up to two decimal points, so that the 0 point is 3. For this 5, after 6 is up to 5, you take that 1 and put it to, to not be 3. Or since we ask to leave it at the smart the answer will be 0.6. Okay, so it's as simple as this. 
independentes da Lutu de Mestre Cristiano. Agora, se eu me meto por dois. We ask to evaluate the value of the board. This is a question. So, as usual, we break it down gradually. We have 0 0.42 for the numerator times 0 0.0. Sorry. 0.035. So what we have put, we have it to be 0 0.0147. Basically, move this, it will be 0 0.0147 divided 0 0.0105. So what we have put, we have it to 1.4. So the correct option is option B. And I have to round up to any decimal place of value. So option B, the right answer. All right, just do it gradually, guys. Don't just do it together. Like you just do 0 0.42 times this divide by this to get on this calculator. You are likely to get the wrong output. All right, so don't do it gradually. So now you not get the wrong output. Let's move this because this is not scientific calculator. And even in scientific calculator, you can just do it together. And you will be sure you get the right answer. But since this is not scientific calculator, just do it gradually. So let's go to the next question. We have, I think we have some this question. That's question two. We have got the answer from 0 0.6. So let's take the next question. Of course, John used to repeat questions. So if you happen to see such, that's a plus for you. So this question says a rectangular plot of land has sides with length of at 6 meter and 15 meter, correct to Correct the nearest meter. Find the range of the possible values of the area of the, of the rectangle. So guys, as we all know, this question is simple logic. As we all know that the area of a rectangle is length times breadth. Okay, or length times width, no one is correct. So from this question we have here, we have the length, we have two lengths, we have that eight meter. And uh, okay, just one length. We have at eight meter. The length is at eight meter. And uh, we have the breadth of our width to be fifty-two meter. All right. The rectangle part of the half side with length. And uh, okay. Now we have to find the range of the possible values of the area of the rectangle. Okay. Now for this question, basically to solve it, all you have to do will be to get because we have two ranges here values from this to this so for you to get the correct output you are going to work with plus or minus 0.5 that's the procedure to solve this kind of questions now this plus or minus 0.5 basically what it means is when you subtract 0.5 from 30 8 meter you're going to have so your initial length may not be going to have 37.5 okay now when you subtract 0 0.5 from 52 meter you're going to have 51.5 when you add 0 0.5 to 38 meter you're going to have 38.5 and when you add 2.5 to 52 meter going to have 52.5 all right so now that we have these two ranges to simplify them now it's going to be we have you know the area of a rectangle with length and width so that means this way correspond with this and this will correspond with this so the first the first range of the area will be 37 so it will be 37.5 times 51.5 let's check the output what it's going to give us so we have one 
we have the first area to the one sorry this is one right is where so we have it to be one ninth area 1.25 okay now what of the second range it will not be little bit in here at 8.5 times 52.5 so we have it to be 2021.25 so what's this is the option what we have so the first way we have one that option a one thousand nine about one point two five meter square okay then the second one you have 2021.25 so the first option is question is option a it's as simple as this it's basically you can solve this kind of problems for your jam marks all right involving it range like this okay so that's it for this question it is as simple as this so just simple logic let's go to the next question question six let me wipe all we have the last space to solve the next question all right so hope you are finding this video interesting if you are new to the channel you should like and subscribe to the channel now by hitting the subscribe button for more new videos also like share and comment on the video i really appreciate this guys so let's solve the next question so we ask to evaluate these i think we have also solved this question i'm not sure but i think we have solved this question let me check the previous question we just solved I think we have stopped that. Yeah, we have stopped it. All right. So we just repeat the question. So let's take the next question. Okay, we asked to evaluate this correct to three significant figures. All right. So let's do this, guys. Just do it gradually. Don't do it together. Okay. So it's going to be sixty-four point seven six four. Now that's where I means double of this. That's 64.764 times 64.764. Okay, now put the minus minus 35.236. Okay, we have square again times 35.236. Six. That one means let's press the port now to see the output. We have to correct to place the time figures. Okay. So we have the output to be two nine five two point eight. Now since we are asked to correct to three single figures, now guys pay attention here. This is where you have to be careful. If you miss it here, you missed everything. Now when you go adding values to simple figure before the decimal point, for instance, we ask one drop to create simple figure. Now, simple value is given from non zero numbers, all right? Don't start after the decimal point, don't begin from non zero number. The first non zero number here is two, okay? So, this two is a simple value, this nine is a simple value, this five is a simple value, this two is a simple value, and uh, this it is also a significant value all right so basically the first thing can figure here is two this two is not up to five so the car one is up to one to this five we have beside two basically the answer this question will be two nine five zero that's the correct option okay so the correct option this question is two nine five zero not two nine six zero the correct option is two nine five zero okay so it's as simple as this say this two is not up to one so you cannot want to so it will be two nine five zero and even the two here is up to five if that be it will run top as one so this five it should not be two nine six zero all right so the correct option is question is option D, which is 2950. Once you have one it up for significant value, other values following behind it will be 
equation for the zero. All right, they will be taken as zero before the decimal point. That's why the cut option is what option D. It's as simple as this. This basically can see the problems involving approximation for a jam max is now pass. Hope there's something interesting from this video. Let's go to the video guys. If you are new to the channel, ensure that you subscribe to this once more. And hit the subscribe button for more of this video. So like share and comment from this video. Now you keep what I learned from this video. If you seem to have any disputes as as regarding what I talked about in this video, feel free to the place in the comment section below and make sure to give you a response. Now click on the next screen and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.